Our Saturday planner shows that we have the isolated snow showers that will continue throughout the day. The main snow will be falling between 7 a.m. and roughly noon today, but that's going to start to diminish during the later afternoon hours. Tonight, the coldest temperature will be 9 degrees with a few snow flurries, mostly cloudy skies and winds from the northwest around 5 to 15 miles per hour, bringing in even colder air for Sunday. Now for the next three days, we have back to back systems. We have today's system moving through early this morning. We also have another system for Sunday and another on Monday. So back to back days that we could see accumulating snow. Our future track shows that the light snow showers will continue towards the east throughout the day. The next system arriving early Sunday morning. This one is going to bullseye more of I-94. That's where we could see an additional one to three inches of snow closer to I-94 on Sunday. And then on Monday, we have a widespread system moving through expected to bring roughly two to four inches of snow yet again on Monday. This is going to create back to back chances for very slick travel conditions. So as we saw earlier, the snow accumulation roughly one to three inches here in West Michigan today. This is zoning in just on Sunday. The one to three inches will be closer to I-94 on Sunday and our super seven day planner showing a little bit of a closer dive into Monday. An additional two to four inches on Monday will be possible again, mainly along the lakeshore and closer to I-94. So instead of creating one graphic that has every single day in combination showing a ton of snow, just know that it's going to be spread over three different days. We're expected to have one to three inches Saturday today, one to three on Sunday, and then an additional two to four on Monday, really accumulating across the region with additional light lake effect snow possible on Tuesday and Wednesday and temperatures dropping into the teens.